All right, the introduction for questions 9 through 11. Sometimes it is difficult to solve a system of equations by graphing or by using tables of values, and another solution method is necessary. On another trip, Roy leaves from Pecos one hour before his brother and averages 55 miles an hour. Travis leaves from Dallas during rush hour, so he averages only 45 miles an hour. The system of linear equations represent each brother's distance D from Dallas H hours after Roy leaves Pecos. It says Roy equals D equals 450 minus 55 H, while Travis is D equals 45 parentheses H minus 1 says solve each system by finding when Travis's distance from Dallas is the same as Roy's. So it says Travis's distance set equal to Roy's distance. It says solve the equation for x and show your work. So we've got 45 h minus 1 equals 450 minus 55 h going to use the distributive property. So it's going to give me 45H minus 45 equals 450 minus 55H. Now I'm going to add 45 to both sides. That gives me 45H equals 495 minus 55H. Then we're going to add 55H to both sides. It gives me 100H equals 495. Last step would be to divide by 100. So H equals 4.95 hours. Let's take a look at number 10. What does the answer to item 9 represent and is your answer reasonable? The number represents hours after Roy leaves Pecos. in which both brothers will be the same distance from Dallas. Yes, Time can be partial. Use a graphing calculator to graph the system above. Again, I'll show you this on Wednesday. But that answer that you would have gotten had you graphed it would have been 4.95 comma. 
177.75. How would you use this point to answer item 9? The x coordinate. x value is the answer to item 9. The second coordinate of the intersection point represents the distance that the brothers are from Dallas. How would you confirm this using the equations? Um, we could plug 4.95 into H. Both equations result in a hundred and seventy seven point seventy five miles away from Dallas. On to the next set of questions.